Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Hitomi with Bunny Ballistics. We have another ammo test. Today we are going to do these Browning X Point. They are 147 grain. I feel like I don't do enough 147 grain, so trying to get them in, I promise. I, I really do like them. Um, just I'm trying to I'm trying to work them in. Let's get to the gun and uh, we'll show you the ammo a little bit better, huh? Here we have our Browning X points. 147 grain. Has a box velocity of a 1000 FPS. Nice nickel plated projectile and casing. Very nice. Oh, and then of course, you can see there's that little X in there, and that is supposed to help fight against it clogging. So if we see here, guards the hollow point for consistent expansion, but I'll let you guys uh, pause and read if you want. And then we're shooting that out of my gorgeous P365. XL with a, a 3.5 inch, I'm sorry, 3.7 inch barrel. So let's get to the chronographs and see how fast these guys actually go. We got some bigger boys here. These are 147 Brown and X points. Uh, muscle velocity on the box is about a thousand. So we will see how close we get to that out of a 3.7 barrel. Also see exactly if the accuracy is any good. Let's see. 975. Three close. That was a duplicate, and I'm pretty sure it's through the same hole out there. We'll see. All right. Awesome. Browning X point defense. Bear gelatin. Okay, our Browning X Point defense. Here's a look. It even broke up in this gel. Look at that. You can see all the breakups in it, and then it just kind of starts going. Nothing crazy happening. And it just goes into our second block. So this is 17, I'd say about 17 and a half, maybe 18. Crazy. There's not much room, but we're going to turn this around and do denim now. We have browning X point through our denim. So there's our X point entrance. See it grabbed a bunch of denim in and there it kept going. It looks like it missed our other wound track, so that's really good. And then look at that, it's about almost exactly the same as the other one. Oh wow. I don't think they hit each other. So look at that. They both went about ooh, 17 and a half inches. How interesting is that? Alright, let's pull them out and we'll take a look. Okay, X points. Let's see, so here we have our bear gel. Looks like it expanded okay. It looks looks a little unhappy though. So 147, it went to 133. Hmm. 
Okay. Well, I guess it did lose the plug somewhere. You know what? I didn't see the plug pulling these out, come to think of it. I'm gonna have to go check my gel now. But we'll see, okay. And then here we have our denim shot. And again, it expanded just fine, I think. And this has 136. So both came out a little under. I don't know how much the X's weigh. Um, anyways, let's get to the diameters now. Okay, bear shot. We'll start with a big one here. Uh, 0.638. Next we have 0.514. And last we have 0.595. All right, let's go over to our denim shot. So first denim, we have 0.567 and 0.558 and 0.497. So there we have it for our uh, Browning X-Point ammos, 147 grain. They did all right. Um, I would still like to see 147 grains going faster. I know that's not usually a thing, but just just wait. I will I will get it done. I promise you. <laughs> um, they're not bad. Um, it looks like that they might have collided in the gel. Uh, it didn't really look that way from when I took them out. Um, like actually in the gel, but looking at them now, it looks like they might have hit each other. So we might have to retest those down the road. Um, what do you guys think through all the tests? Did it look like they, they hit? They might have hit. Um, so it might not be the greatest of tests. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> but, um, I really didn't hate them. Uh, if I remember right... These weren't that expensive either, so um, not bad. They kind of have the uh, Hornady thing going on. They're trying with the uh, like the flex lock, little different technology. Um, Winchester also has something else that they do. Um, those are another ones we'll be testing soon, so stay tuned. Um, yeah, I like them. I don't do a whole lot of um, heavy for round calibers, but I'm trying to get more. Um, so if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and comment. Uh, and please subscribe. Let me know also if you like the new, um, the new um, way I'm filming the chronograph and aiming and stuff. Is that worth it? Is, do you guys like that? Is it okay? I got, I got a new camera basically, so I have a third one I could throw around, that's, that's why we're doing it. So, anyways, um, Patreons, um, thank you Patreons, <laughs> everyone. I don't think I say that enough, but yeah, thank you guys for subscribing. I know there's a not lot on it right now, but I am going to fix it, I swear. <laughs> um, other than that, um, I'm rambling again. Uh, it is 420 at night. Wow, look at that. And uh, I have some editing to do before I go on vacation, so... It is vacation. My boyfriend's going on a work trip, and I'm going with him. But, Colorado. Um, love you guys. Have a good one. I will see you. Well, I'll have my phone, but I'll be more around Monday. This actually might come out after Monday. So I'm probably already around. So bye.